The function g is defined and differentiable on the closed interval from negative 7 to 5 and satisfies g of 0 is equal to 5. The graph of y equals g prime of x, the derivative of g, consists of a semicircle and three line segments as shown in the figure above. Find g of 3 and g of negative 2. In this problem, we are asked to go from g prime to g. That means that we have to take an antiderivative or we have to take an integral. However, when we go from g prime to g, we have to use the integral as net change because we are asked to solve for a specific value of g. Now, if we have to find net change, there are two things we need. One, we need an, an initial value of g. That has been given to us. g of 0 is equal to 5. That is our initial value of g. Now, we also need the net change in g. And we can find net change by taking the integral of g prime. So, let's first start with g of 3. g of 3, using our formula for net change, is equal to our initial value of g, g of 0, plus the net change from 0 to 3 of g prime. So, here we go. The net change from 0 to 3 of g prime the integral from 0 to 3 of g prime, we can use the area under the curve. We are going from 0 to 3, so we have a quarter circle of radius 2. Well, if we have a quarter circle of radius 2, the full circle of radius 2 is equal to pi r squared, that's pi 2 squared, that's 4 pi. However, a quarter of 4 pi is just pi. And now we have this triangle right here with base 1 and height 3. And the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. And 1 half 1 times 3 gives us 3 halves. And that is the net change from 0 to 3. So, we now know that g of 3 is equal to g of 0, which they told us was 5, plus the integral from 0 to 3 of g prime, which is pi plus 3 halves. So g at 0 is 5. Our net change from 0 to 3 is given by pi plus 3 over 2. And finally, g of 3 is equal to well, let's see, 5 can turn into 10 over 2, plus 3 over 2 is 13 over 2, plus pi. Now let's take a look at g of negative 2. Similarly, g of negative 2 is equal to the initial value given, that's g of 0, plus the net change from 0 to negative 2 of g prime of x dx. Well, here we have 0 to negative 2. That's going from right to left. To go from left to right, of course, we can just flip our limits of integration and we get g of 0 minus the integral from negative 2 to 0 of g prime of x dx. Now by going backwards we're finding a negative integral. The way that we can represent that is by either switching our limits of integration so that we have a negative in front of the integral or by thinking of right to left as a negative net change. So here we go. We know that g of 0 is equal to 5 minus the net change or the integral from negative 2 to 0 of g prime of x. We're going from negative 2 to 0. Again, this is a quarter of a circle of radius 2. 
So one fourth pi times four is just pi. That means that we are looking at five minus pi. Our net change here is negative pi. So that means that g of negative two is equal to five minus pi. Five being the value at zero and we went backwards pi.